Hello Gemini, thank you for stopping by. This is Elizabeth. I hope your week went well, by the way. Well, I'm going to look into the message for you for this coming week and take in what resonates and simply just leave the rest. Alright, so I'm going to use two different decks. So both decks are shuffled already. And I'm going to do a light shuffle, by the way, and um, see what your first message for this coming week for you. The first message for you is a four of cup here, Gemini. So, you know, the message of cup is a, a message of the emotion involved the water. Uh, feelings and loves and intuition for of cup by the way it's a telling you here you have been distracted okay you've been distracted and you um, basically ignore or be in your own little world here so I want you to pay attention not just been drowned to your own uh, little bubble here, okay? So being distracted and uh, fail to see the magical opportunity, something uh, offering to you a good opportunity because you were uh, distracted and you missed that opportunity here, Gemini. So you need to stop. You need to um, pay attention. Um, you know, taking someone or something for granted because you uh, fail to recognize what's important. So making sure you stay alert, pay attention. So when something, you know, or opportunity uh, walk into your uh, plate, you need to take it. Okay, so don't be distracted. Don't be, um, you know... Um, be in the la-la land that you miss opportunity, okay? So don't take someone offer for granted or something that offering to you. Say yes and work with that, okay? So some of those um, Gemini's, maybe some of you are discontentment with your life as well. So wake up, stay alert, don't miss opportunity, golden uh, gate opportunity offering to you and you need to be ready to grab and use them okay so pay attention basically pay attention this week Gemini's and let's see the next message this is a queen of swords you know the sword message it's, uh, about your thought about your idea the word you speak or uh, written or language you, you know, write it down, communication, written communication, maybe the message of something coming towards you, making sure you seek the truth, the truth, message of truth, okay? So, queen of swords are self-efficient, you're strong, and you are patient as well, too. So urging you, the Queen of Swords, urging you this week to let go of people or something or things that not serving you well or no longer serving you. So don't hang on to the things and people that no longer helping you moving forward, something that not, you know. Uh, be on your side, something that's uh, not serving you anymore. You need to let it go, make a pathway and say goodbye to it. So now, after you're doing that, now this is the time for you, Gemini, to focusing on your career, on your job, so it can grow. Because you are so busy, Queen of Swords, Maybe some of the Queen of Swords of Gemini's here, you are unmarried, or maybe some of you are being a divorcee person. Okay, so unmarried, div divorced individual. Okay, so let go. 
peop of people that are not serving you well. That is kind of tie in your message. Let go some with someone that not serving you no longer. You know they care about you. Maybe you'd get divorced, right? So uh, something that uh, that you are, um, you know, um, not good for you. Let it go because when you let it go, that's when you can focusing on your work, your career, your your life. Okay. So uh, be mindfulness, seek of truth, uh, know the truth of your situation. Okay. The best you know. The truth of your situation, uh, it will go better for you. Okay, so and let that situation um, scoop you up. You know to be stronger. Be patient on the things that you're going through. Eventually, you're gonna walk through the situation. You're gonna see the light at the end of your tunnel. Be patient. Walk through the difficulty. Um, for now, if you um, walk on that, keep walking. Keep walking to get out from that, um, you know, messiness, dirtiness. Um, pretty soon, you're gonna walk right into the garden of the flowers, garden of the roses. So, um, you know, if you're walking to hell, keep walking. Eventually, you're gonna get out from that hell, that messiness. Okay, so don't give up. Let's see the next message. Oh, you have um, Ace of Pentacle. Pentacle. You know, that's about the money, about the wealth, about the um, nature, physical body, stability, um, on things abundant, abundantly tangible. So um, we have about a good health, good wealth as well. So it's a pentacle. This is a windfall of the money situation. See that? So... That's why you need to pay attention. If opportunity, money offering you, okay. So it's the windfall of the money situation, advice or some assistance here from other people, okay. So you are, this coming week is a very successful project. It's coming your way, very successful project. Perhaps at your job, you're working on some some situation, some project. So this is going to lead you to a successful project for you here, Gemini. Okay, a happy change in your career. So perhaps you accepting the new job, the new career, got better money uh, with your pay. Uh, perhaps you, um, you know. Um, very successful, a happy change in the career due to someone who assisting you to get you to where you need to be. They helping you to um, uh, for you to climb to the next ladder of your life. Okay, step step up here. So the project is going successfully. So pay attention. Pay attention. Make sure you don't miss opportunity for this week. So make sure you make sure you work on that, and then let go of people and the thing that's no longer serving you. You are going to have a windfall of the abundant assistant. The project's going to be uh, successful, and this is a life-changing career moment for you, Gemini. So take that opportunity. For this coming week okay let's take a look into the message of the angel of abundance had to offer you what's the message from this pile let's see this one detox your friendship you see that let go of someone some people that are not serving you Tell you to detox your friendship. If you hang around with people that is have a positive abundance, and then you will have it. So stay away from the negative here. So know this, Gemini, that your abundance flow 
is being affected by the people with whom you are spending time with. So, see that. Make sure you spend time with people who positive thinking, who have a good uh, will of thinking, abundant in life, and not hanging out with those people. You know, poor me, everything is not good. So, making sure you choose to spend time with people. But whoever you're spending time with, that is your abundant will be. Okay. So be discerning about your association and relationship as well. Choose to be with people who are inspiring you, positive thought, help you, lead you to the next level of your life. Okay, generous and supportive. So make sure that you choose to be with someone who inspire you, who is generous, who is supportive to you. Gemini. So. Detox your friendship. Okay, let go people and things that does not serving you well, and all of the windfall of abundance will be yours for this coming week. So, I hope this helped, Gemini's. Take care.